Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We finally made it to meet up with hey, Frost man. and we are going to see what kind of activity he has planned for us. We have our fire arrows ready. You have the fire arrows? I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? Hmm. Sounds like machines. That's what I hear. Let's tell them what we got up to. Um, first of all, I have I a trip caster. I saw Karst and got that trip caster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Well, perhaps. It wasn't that expensive. it's worth soon enough. We just paid like a watcher lens for it, I think. We also helped out old Grata. I got odd Grata her rabbits, for which she thanked all mother, of course. It was all mother working through you to bring her the rabbits. You always say that, but I was there and I hunted alone. And you always say that, and so make yourself alone. Hmm, he's got a point. Um, I'm not going to shun you. I thought it through. And I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. I would have expected a little bit more pushback from Rost, but I guess we found a workaround that he's happy with. Though, maybe eventually he'll cave and he'll talk to us back. Maybe he just needs some getting used to it. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. Jeez, okay. Message received. Let's wait. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Wonder what we're gonna get up to. Rest at the campfire. What, does it just mean save? Yeah. We'll do a quick save. Okay. So saving counts as a rest. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy, with threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. <sighs> yeah. Chill water. All right, that must be for making frost-based weapons. So the embrace is the valley where we live, um, and it seems like it's all gated off from the rest of the world, which makes it a little bit of a haven of safety. 
But we are out of the embrace now. Follow the path. It's not far. All right, we're following. Heaven. We trust you, Ross. A machine. That's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. A big dangerous one. Sawtooth, metal shards, luminous braiding, chill water, and blades. Are we gonna hunt one of these? Gosh. This way. I'll All watch right. your carcass. Follow I'll the path the of destruction. Watch your surroundings. Okay, we're watching our surroundings. Don't you worry, Rost. We're not gonna let anything sneak up on us. Not today. <gasps> It's a dead person. Oh no. All right, let us dispatch this. Let me make sure we have the right bow equipped. We do. We need him to be looking at us in order to get the critical hit. So we'll wait for him to poke his head over this way. There we go. Perfect. It won't be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They did. The kills we passed are theirs. Tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. Excuse me, Rost. A little vote of confidence would go a long way. We can handle this. Continue looting these, uh, these creatures. Let's find that turkey. Fatty meat. We're gonna get all the Ridgewood we can because I think last time we checked our Ridgewood, we were, we were very short. Uh-oh. Entire lodge wrecked by sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. You brought us here I to brought hunt. You here to deal with that. Yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. Why can't you help, Ross? Stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay. Supply see. kit. We got metal shards, sparker, wire. Um. Right. We should probably use traps. That is a good idea, Aloy. Um. Let's get out our trip caster. We have four or four shock traps available. Um, let's see if I can get a read on this guy. Um, okay, so let's see if we can read up what is up with the sawtooth. An aggressive machine quick to close the distance to targets and engage with melee attacks. Okay. It has a weakness, a blaze canister. Blaze storage canister, shooting elemental canisters with elemental ammo, triggers an explosion that will damage everything nearby. Shoot off this component to collect the resource inside. So we could either explode it or shoot it off. Um, though I can't see it. Is it buried within it? Maybe we can't shoot it. Is that all we're gonna get? No other weaknesses? Okay, let's highlight his track. Alright, and let's turn off our super mode, sneaky mode. And let's get a little closer and lay some traps. Alright. So let's take out our trip caster. And, um, haven't used this before. Ok, 
Okay, hopefully he'll trigger that. Okay, perfect. We set up two traps for this guy. Alright, now we can pull out our precision arrows. We could probably craft some. I don't think we want to use these. I think we want to take him with the trap and then maybe we can hide from afar and snipe him with our precision arrows. Let's find some cover far away. Hopefully cover where we can um, see him and shoot him from. Okay. I don't think that's going to cut it. Let's go up here. This is perfect. Okay, we're going to take out our precision arrow. We're going to wait for him to walk across our trap and we'll see these things in action. Alright, I see that weak part. That weak part. Okay, I think we need to use one of these fire arrows to explode the thing on the back. There we go. There wasn't a war. It's on me. Oh boy. Okay, we might be in for the melee. Okay, I need to remember to dodge. I think it's like left alt or something. Or left control. Left control is it. Alright. Guys, I don't think we're coming out of this alive. Alright, we're healing up with our medicine. And I don't think we're hiding it. I, I tried to ride away so we could hide again. Oops. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have to be a lot more careful. Seems like we don't want to push it by sniping him too often. He's gonna see us if we do that. Stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? I agree with Aloy's assessment there. Okay, let's stay hidden in here. What I think we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for him to come back around. And we're going to lay traps for him. This time we're going to be smart about where we lay these traps. Okay, we're going to craft more fire arrows. Those might be useful. But let's go ahead and take out a trip caster and let's... I need to highlight this guy first. I need to see his tracks. I'm going to press G, highlight tracks. Okay. Now let's take out a trip caster and let's see if we can get him really far away. Alright, now let's run back to the grass over here. We want to be far away from him. The farther away we are, the less likely it is he'll see us. We also don't want to get too greedy with our shots, so we can snipe him from afar, but we don't want to do too many of those snipes. We'll wait for, for him to get downed. Okay. That's got their attention. Oh, 
We're not hitting this weak spot. This is not a good this is not a good angle. Okay, let's hide deeper into the grass and let's see if we can get a better angle with the tripcaster. Can't get out of this. All right. We have fire arrows. midsection. I gotta be careful. I think he's on here. I see that green canister. That's gotta be the weak point. Just go by your Alright. When he starts walking away, we can hit the green canister. I think that's his weak point. We set another trap. We can take full advantage of this trap. Okay, let's see if we can't close the gap and find that canister. That's not working. Wonder if he's weak on his um his face as well. We might try hitting it with our flame arrows. He's a little too close for comfort though. I don't want to shoot right now. Maybe this isn't the way to kill him, hiding in the bushes. Maybe we have better options. Be very quiet. Stop dancing out here. He hasn't seen us yet. Wow, that was close. Okay. Let's wait for him to get back on course and start walking away. Just stay out of there with the me. Okay, but that does huge damage, okay? If we hit him on his armor, it does five damage. If we hit him on that little canister, I think we did like 90 damage. We can also hit that little device on his um, back as well. This is good to know. Let's use our trip caster. Let's actually uh, find this guy's tracks, highlight his tracks. And let's back away from here. We want to be out of sight. All right, here we go. What's a grazer? We don't have time to stop and learn about grazers. Figure that out later. All right. So, new plan. Not a fan of the traps. Not a fan of the traps. I feel like we're better off just um, sniping him from a distance. So I don't know where he is right now. Uh, 
Alright. Let's find some grass to hide in. And let's follow from behind. I can't believe Ross is just sitting here watching and letting us die after all we've been through. Um, okay, so I can explode it. We exploded it last time. That's what did huge damage. I just need to get a good angle, and I don't think being directly behind him is a good angle. But it's got to be what it's got to be. It's the best angle we're going to get. Here we are. Okay. I'll do what I have to. Okay, he's on to us, so we're it gonna move away. I think it exploded. Yeah, that took down half of his health. I should scan it. Let's see what that reveals. Okay. He's around this way. I don't think he sees us. Okay. We're gonna take our sharp shot, our sharp shot arrow, and we're going to shoot that thing on his back now. That that deals really good damage. All right, here we go. All right, he's on to us. He's probably gonna walk around the other way, so we want to be around this way. There we go. Keep on the other side of the boulder. Always keep him guessing. Okay, he thinks we're behind him now, so if we run around this side, we'll lose him. We just gotta play games. We just gotta play games with this guy. Oh, okay, he's coming back. He's coming back quickly, Aloy. I think he hears us. That's it. Nothing to see here. That's what. That's fine. We'll turn back, and when he turns back, we can shoot him on that um, sensor, that vulnerable spot on his back again. Fantastic. Are you proud of us, Rost? We did it. All right, I definitely think I like sneaking around and hiding in bushes. That's my favorite way to dispatch these creatures. We got a sawtooth heart, these aren't cheap. a wire, and a metal shard. It only took us, what, was Why that our I fourth try? Here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. Alright, got it. We're needed. We gotta help other people, not You're just ourselves. Here. Follow. I hope those things aren't commonplace. If those things are commonplace, we're gonna have a heck of a time getting through this game. It took us four tries just to down that one. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. He's assuming we win the proving. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. All right. 
I understand, I understand the lesson. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. The Nora tribe is not it. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. None of our business. All right, we'll see you at Mother's Heart. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. Fantastic. Does this mean we just get to roam around outside the Embrace for a little bit? Nope, we're back here inside the Embrace. I think. Yes. We got a generous reward box. Let's check it out. Go to our inventory. Go to treasure boxes. And, um... Yeah, let's open these. F, view contents. Grazer lens. Echo shell. Wire. Metal shards. Blaze. Metal vessel. Fast travel pack. Health potion. Traps or potions. Pouch is full. Interesting. I haven't actually learned how to use this pouch. Let me go into my settings and see if I can find the key can, the key bindings to use these this pouch. We've got rocks, we've got a health potion, and we've got I guess another health potion. We're back. So um, I can use X and Z to scroll on this wheel, and then I can use the F key to use the items. So if I want to heal up quickly in combat, I can just um, press F on my health potion. All right, we got one thing left on our agenda, and that's going back to Mother's Heart. Maybe we might uh, visit the trader again and uh, see if we can get some upgrades before our proving. Let's use our precision arrows and uh, let's attack these horse things. Oh, we missed it. Deal with them quickly. Fantastic. Okay, hit him in the face, does a lot of damage. Someone's on to us though. I think it's a watcher. Maybe. Let's destroy this canister. Alright, we're almost running out of these arrows. They're expensive. Maybe switch to less expensive arrows. Quick. All right, let's go hide behind this rock again so they don't see us. Oh, the watcher's on to us. Interesting, what did we just shoot off of that watcher? I think we lost it. Okay. After fighting that thing, this is like a piece of cake. What was that called? A sawtooth? Yeah. Watchers and striders? Keep quiet now. No issue at all. We need to make sure we loot our kills. So all of our hard work was not nothing. All right. Oh, I see a watcher over here. Let's go into the tall grass and get a sneak up on him. See if we can do a stealth takedown. Perfect. I don't think there's a more fun way to play the game. We just dispatched an entire herd. Uh, 
Uh oh. Something saw us. Let's go see cars. We've got a lot more metal shards. We've got a lot more rare, rare and uh, valuable resources that we can trade with him. So let's go to map and let's see if we can mark Karst on our map. Okay, so we need to go to Ross here at Mother's Watch, I think. Um, but before we do that, we're going to put a little flag down at the merchant and we're going to go in the opposite direction. All right, cars. Here we come. Hopefully, you have some good, some goodies for us. We have some goodies for you. All right, we'll take this fox as well. There's gonna be no wildlife left in uh, the cradle after we're done with it. See if we can craft some more arrows. We have 29 to 30, 12 to 15. Okay, we're doing good on arrows. We might see about upgrading some of our um, pouches and supplies as well. I also want to see if we can, what kind of armor we can get. Um, perhaps we can buy some from Karst. I don't know if this is a game where you have to buy most of your good gear or craft most of your good gear. Only time will tell. <clears throat> All right. What's up, Karst? Where are you at? Right where we left you. You need to get around more. What is it now? He's never very friendly. Alright. As far as weapons go, he has all the same things. We don't want any of these weapons. We're happy with what we've got. Curious though, what is the sling good for? I guess it just has interesting ammo. I don't this must be like frost or something. I don't know what that is exactly. Um, resources, we've got a bunch. Traps. Health potion, we've got some of these just from looting already. Detonation blast trap, when placed on the ground, this trap will be triggered by taking damage. It explodes when triggered, damaging anything caught in its blast radius. Does 160 piercing damage? That's not bad. We only get to buy one of them? This trap is triggered by proximity. It does no damage, but sends out a shock blast, which stuns enemies caught in its radius for a period of time. Okay, so we have these already. We don't need to resist fire potion. As far as arrows go, a full pack of hunter arrow ammunition. Why would we buy this when we can just build it? Pack of five rocks, shock arrow pack. Okay, we don't need to buy this. He doesn't sell armor. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so let's see um, what we can sell. Um. Actually, before we think about selling things, is we don't actually have anything to buy from this guy. Does he buy, like, does he sell modifications? He does not. He does not sell modifications. Okay, good to know. So, that's another all day, down to looting. Another trade. Turns out we didn't actually get anything from this guy. I guess that concludes our business. All right, and good luck in the proving. Blessing of all mother and all that. Okay, so we have our traps down here in this this uh, tab. So we'll have to use these shock and blast traps when we feel it's appropriate. Um, let's go to our inventory, which I think is I. Yeah, and um, let's see if we can... Or maybe it's crafting. Yeah, it's crafting. 
Let's see if we can modify any of our weapons. So we have our main bow that we put a, what was this, like, F modify. We have 17, plus 17% 17 damage, plus 9% tear, plus 6% corruption on it. Let's see what else we can put on it. Plus 7% tear, plus 10% fire. I, neither of those are that good. We're gonna hold out for better, um, better upgrades because this is our main weapons. Curious though, can we actually clear this modification slot? R, clear modification slot. Why is that grayed out? Tinker skill not learned. Okay, so we need to get a skill for that. Speaking of skills, let's find out where this tinker skill is so that we can further modify our weapons. Oh, this is far down the skill tree. Weapon coils and outfit weaves can now be removed and reused. All right, that is far down the tree. We won't get that anytime soon. Lyrical. We can lure a single enemy to our position. The target will be the closest, most centered in Aloy's view. Interesting. I want the thing that um, while aiming, toggle with left shift to slow down time. Let's learn this skill. That'll be really important for us. All right. And then as far as crafting goes, um, is there anything to modify in our outfits? No. Traps and potions. I don't think we could do anything with that. Um, carry capacity though, we can continue to upgrade these. We can upgrade our trip caster ammo pouch. We don't use these very much. Hmm, this is grayed out probably because we can't afford it. Yeah, I really just want the bow quiver upgrades. Modification satchel, sure, we can upgrade this. Tripcaster ammo couch, fine. We'll spend some of our resources on that. All right, off to the proving. Let's go meet Ross at the proving. We need more meat for these upgrades. And I should not be wasting my good bow on that. All right, let's go get our boar meat. Oh, look what we have here. With the upper hand. Okay, right in the face. Perfect. I probably don't need to dispatch every single thing I see. We'll, uh, we'll never get to our destination if we do that. But I just can't help myself. This is, uh, this is too much fun. Stocking up. Level seven reached. We can upgrade our skills again. Show us your beautiful face. Where's that other one? There's another one somewhere. Just hide in the grass. I'm not interested in melee. All the way over there? Okay. Going. This guy's pathing is all messed up. Alright, we'll just continue gathering medicine. Oh, we've got watchers onto us though. That's no problem. We can quickly dispatch a watcher. Alone, watcher. All right. 
Let's get to the proving. Let's just be done with this. Here we are. Perfect. Piece of cake. Our medicine bag, heal up a little bit. I'm triggering some uh, wildlife out here. We can't hunt all the wildlife. We gotta move on with the story. I think we're gonna get to Ross, and before we talk to him, we're gonna end the episode, and we will do that next time. I'll tuck that away. We only have 11 Ridgewood. Okay, we are critically short on Ridgewood. In fact, before whatever this proving is, I probably need to make sure I'm fully stocked up on uh, Ridgewood so we can replenish our arrows if need be. Alright. Let's wait till the watcher looks this way. And we can slow down time with this special ability. Wow, okay. You know what? Not worth going after these guys. I think it's on the other side. Yeah, it is on the other side. Alright, we'll keep going. We just need to keep an eye out for Ridgewood. We are running very low. I think since we're not doing much melee and we're relying all on range, that just means that we're using up a lot of wood because with every shot, basically just costs us wood. Here we go. Up to 16 wood. Okay, I see some more watchers over here. Let's see if we can't get these guys out of our way. He's gonna turn over this way. Perfect. This guy's gonna look over here too. We don't need to waste our good arrows on these guys because they're so weak. Alright. Let's slow down time. Onwards. We need to find a safe spot so we can end the episode. Plus, we don't want to do the proving at night. Hopefully we can rest and wait until morning. Ross, hello. Where are you? 